Welcome to China Discovery's official. China's new stealth bomber, the H-20, has finally been unveiled. And while U.S. intelligence officials publicly downplay it, deeper analysis shows Washington has every reason to be concerned. This is not just another bomber. The H-20 represents a strategic technological leap that places China in a position previously held only by the United States. So what exactly about the H-20 makes America uneasy? Despite its initial dismissive remarks, last month Wang Wei, deputy commander of the Chinese Air Force, announced that the country would debut its first stealth strategic bomber, known as the H-20. This is no small development. When and if the H-20 becomes operational, it will be the only stealth strategic bomber on the planet not belonging to the U.S. Air Force. Yet only days later, an anonymous U.S. intelligence official told Breaking Defense that China's H-20 is really not a concern, suggesting the program has faced more technical difficulties and setbacks than expected. But do these claims actually reflect reality? Let's analyze. Long-range stealth strategic bombers are among the most difficult aviation technologies to develop requiring a complex combination of advanced materials, stealth aerodynamics, sophisticated electronics, and powerful engines. Until now, only the United States has truly mastered this capability with the B-2 Spirit and the B-21 Raider currently in development. The emergence of the H-20 marks the first time since the Cold War that the U.S. faces another nation with an intercontinental range, low observable strike platform. This is a major strategic shift, showing that China is significantly narrowing its technological gap with the U.S., especially in air defense penetration and long-range strike capabilities. China's ability to develop an aircraft like the H-20 is not just a technical achievement, it signals the innovation and self-reliance of a rising superpower. The point is not what the H-20 might do in a direct conflict, but that China now possesses a technology previously limited to the United States alone. It is a statement of capability and intent as Beijing positions itself to compete across every domain. According to the U.S. Department of Defense's 2021 Unclassified China Military Power Report, the H-20 is expected to have a range of around 8,500 kilometers without aerial refueling. While this does not match the more than 11,100-kilometer range of America's more than 30-year-old B-2 Spirit, it is still an extraordinary leap forward for China. With such range, the H-20 can reach key strategic locations considered the United States' outer defensive ring in the Pacific, including Guam, roughly 3,000 kilometers from China, home to Anderson Air Force Base and Guam Naval Base. Hawaii, roughly 8,000 kilometers away, headquarters of Indopacom and several major bases. Alaska, around 7,000 kilometers from China, serving as a bridge between the Arctic and the Pacific and hosting key missile defense installations. Previously, China's fleet of H-6 bombers had limited range, suitable mainly for missions around the South China Sea and nearby regions. The H-20 completely changes that landscape giving China a brand new long-range deterrence capability. With the ability to reach key American bases, the H-20 forces Washington to rethink its entire early warning radar network, reinforce its defensive posture in these regions, and recalculate its force deployment strategy across the entire Pacific. This doesn't just pressure the U.S. defense budget, already enormous at roughly $886 billion in 2024 but it also creates a new strategic puzzle for regional security. For example, upgrading radar warning systems and missile defense infrastructure in Guam and Hawaii could cost billions of dollars and take years to complete. When an aircraft can cross half an ocean while remaining stealthy, the issue is no longer just technical. It becomes a question of power balance. One of the most remarkable aspects of the H-20 is its flying wing design an aerodynamic configuration previously seen only on America's B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. This is not a stylistic choice. The flying wing layout represents the pinnacle of stealth engineering because it minimizes radar cross-section. By eliminating vertical stabilizers such as a tail fin, 
The design dramatically reduces surfaces that can reflect radar waves. Smooth, continuous contours and precisely calculated angles scatter radar energy away from the source, making the aircraft far harder to detect. Estimates place the H-20's radar cross-section between 0.01 and 0.1 square meters, extremely low, though still higher than the B-2's estimated 0.0001 square meters, or the even smaller signature expected from the B-21. It reduces radar reflections from all angles. The flying wing layout is optimized to maintain a low radar cross-section from the front, sides, rear, and top. This makes target lock-on significantly more difficult for enemy fire control radars. It is extremely difficult to control. Without a tail and traditional control surfaces, the aircraft requires an advanced fly-by-wire system and highly sophisticated control software to maintain stability and maneuver. Few nations have the technological capability to design such a system successfully. With the H-20, China has entered the same conceptual tier as America's most advanced strategic stealth bombers. This is clear evidence of the rapid evolution of China's aerospace and defense sectors. Only a handful of nations can even attempt a stealth flying wing bomber, previously only the United States with the B-2 and B-21, and now China. This alone signals how serious China is about asserting its technological position on the global stage. The United States is right to pay close attention because this design demonstrates a capability that can no longer be ignored. The H-20's weapons capacity is another major concern. With a large internal weapons bay, the bomber is designed to carry a variety of strategic missiles and bombs, both nuclear and conventional. Among these, two stand out. The CJ-20. This is an air-launched land attack cruise missile with an estimated range between 1,500 and 2,000 kilometers. The CJ-20 can carry either a conventional or nuclear warhead and uses a combined INS, GPS, and TURCOM guidance system for high accuracy. The CJ-100 or CJ-20K, also known as the DF-100, represents an upgraded class of missiles believed to be either supersonic or even hypersonic, with a range reaching approximately 2,000 to 4,000 kilometers and speeds between Mach 4 and Mach 6.5. The combination of hypersonic velocity and the stealth profile of the H-20 creates a threat that is extremely difficult for any air defense network to intercept. This means the H-20 does not need to approach anywhere near a target to apply strategic pressure. It can launch long-range missiles from thousands of kilometers away, keeping itself safely outside the reach of most enemy air defense systems. This standoff capability is a true game changer. Why is the United States concerned? Even America's most advanced radar networks will be forced to confront a scenario they have never faced before. Imagine a stealth bomber designed to be difficult to detect, carrying ultra-long-range weapons, capable of launching strikes from the direction of the Pacific, an area the United States has historically considered low risk for direct strategic attacks against its homeland. Previously, the primary threats were intercontinental ballistic missiles from Russia or China, or attacks from non-stealth bombers that could be tracked. But a stealth bomber armed with hypersonic standoff missiles completely rewrites that equation. This forces Washington to upgrade its entire early warning and missile defense architecture at critical bases such as Hawaii and Guam. Systems like GMD in Alaska, THAAD, and Aegis BMD aboard Navy warships were primarily designed to intercept ballistic missiles. A strike involving stealthy or hypersonic cruise missiles launched from a stealth bomber will require an entirely new generation of defensive solutions, from low-band radar arrays to advanced interceptors. When long-range weapons combine with stealth platforms, strategic space is no longer measured in distance, but in unpredictability, and unpredictability is the most challenging threat of all. Another factor worrying American analysts is China's extraordinary ability to maintain secrecy around its military programs. Recent history has made this clear. The J-20 appeared unexpectedly in 2011. Although rumors existed 
The first test flight of China's J-20 stealth fighter surprised Western intelligence with both its rapid development and sophistication. The GJ-11 stealth UAV was unveiled with almost no prior leaks. The GJ-11 sharp sword combat drone made its first public appearance in 2019, but its development was kept so tightly classified that almost nothing was known until China displayed it. China's new aircraft programs consistently progress faster than Western predictions, from jet engine development to missile technology. This high level of secrecy poses a major challenge for U.S. intelligence. A strategic bomber program, especially one as classified as the H-20, is extremely difficult to assess accurately from the outside. While U.S. officials may publicly downplay its capability based on limited intelligence, the lack of a complete picture regarding China's testing, manufacturing pipeline, and real performance introduces significant risk. What is hardest to predict is often what demands the most preparation. Unlike American defense programs, which go through public budget hearings, open disclosures, and multi-year debates, China reveals its systems only when they are nearly operational. This leaves rivals with very little time to react or adjust their strategies. At this stage, the H-20 may not represent an immediate, catastrophic, head-on threat to United States national security because China still lacks the operational experience and logistical depth needed to sustain a large fleet of long-range stealth bombers. However, it absolutely represents a significant challenge to the United States defense posture, especially across the Pacific region. Expanding China's nuclear deterrent reach. The H-20 gives China a complete nuclear triad with the ability to launch nuclear weapons from land-based intercontinental missiles, submarine launch ballistic missiles, and air launch missiles. This greatly complicates American strategic planning in any potential conflict scenario. Forcing the United States to increase defense spending. To counter the H-20, the United States will be forced to heavily invest in new defensive systems, upgrade radar networks, and develop next-generation counter-stealth technologies. This accelerates the production and deployment of the B-21 Raider, America's next-generation stealth bomber, with an estimated cost of about $700 million per aircraft. New early warning systems and sensor networks across the Pacific will also be prioritized, costing billions of dollars. Accelerating the development of the B-21 Raider and new surveillance architecture, the B-21, designed to be even more stealthy than the B-2 and equipped with advanced avionics, will serve as America's primary answer to threats like the H-20. This dynamic pushes both sides into deeper R&D investment, fueling a new arms race. Although the H-20 still falls short of the American B-2 spirit in several areas, such as its approximate 8,500 kilometer range compared to the B-2's 11,100 kilometers, or its roughly 10-ton payload compared to the B-2's 18-ton capacity, the key issue is that China is closing this gap rapidly. Meanwhile, America's advantages in operational experience, more than three decades, and in aerial refueling capacity, more than 630 tankers versus China's 8 to 10, remain strategic weaknesses that China is actively trying to overcome. But the concern is not what the H-20 can do today. The real concern is how it reshapes the United States security equation 10 to 20 years from now. China is improving its long-range refueling aircraft, like the Y-20U, and is also seeking overseas logistics footholds through initiatives such as the Belt and Road to extend its operational reach. When a nation steps into the era of strategic stealth aviation, the world does not necessarily become more dangerous. It becomes more complicated. The H-20, despite its current limitations compared to American platforms, represents a strategic shift that cannot be ignored in the global balance of military power. To summarize, the main reasons the United States is concerned about the H-20 include intercontinental level range, estimated at roughly 8,500 kilometers. This allows China, for the first time, to reach United States strategic bases such as Guam, Hawaii, and Alaska without aerial refueling. 
Flying Wing Stealth Design. This places China in the same technological league as the United States when it comes to building advanced strategic stealth bombers. Long-range weapons capability, especially air-launched supersonic or hypersonic cruise missiles like the CJ-100 or CJ-20K, with ranges between 2,000 and 4,000 kilometers, enabling standoff attacks without entering enemy air defense zones. High secrecy of the program. This makes it extremely difficult for the United States to accurately assess the H-20's true capabilities and development speed, creating a real risk of strategic surprise. Long-term impact on the Pacific defense posture. The United States will be forced to restructure and heavily invest in its Pacific defense architecture, reshaping the geopolitical environment across the region. The H-20 is a clear signal that China is narrowing the strategic technology gap with the United States, reshaping global power dynamics. And that is why Washington is watching every step of this program with great caution.